Hey everyone and welcome back. You know we're all about going deep on things here and uh, today we are diving right into the heart of some monster news. Big monster news. Toho just dropped a bombshell announcement. They did. They really did. And you know... Uh, We've got a new Godzilla film. That's right. A brand new Godzilla film. Yeah. And it's going to be directed by... Uh, Takashi Yamazaki, yes. who you might know as the visionary director behind. Last year's? That's right. Last year's smash hit, Godzilla Minus One. Huge success. It was a huge success. I mean, globally? I mean, absolutely huge. Can you remind us how well it did globally? It raked in $116 million. $116, $116 million. Globally. On a budget of just $15 million. That's amazing. Incredible return. It's incredible. That's Toho's highest grossing... Godzilla film to date. To date. Yeah. And um, and what I think is so interesting is Yamazaki's back... Yes. ...to direct... Back in the director's chair. And that's so exciting. Yeah. Because he... Um, he, he has such a, a unique style when it comes to Godzilla films. I think he does. You know, he he doesn't he doesn't just focus on the spectacle of it all. You know, it's, right. it's yeah. not just about the monsters fighting and you know. He brings the human element exactly. to the forefront. Yeah, he brings in the human impact of all this mayhem. Really explores the human stories amidst the chaos. Exactly, it makes That's you right. feel every bit of the destruction. It makes you feel the weight of what it would actually be like right. if this was happening you know, in the city where you lived. Absolutely. And I think that's one of the things that sets him apart from, let's say, Hollywood Godzilla films. Yeah, I think so, too. You know, he's not just focused on spectacle and special effects. No, he is. He's telling a story. He's telling a story about human beings and how they would... React and respond. React and respond to these incredible events. And their lives yeah, exactly. are irrevocably changed. Well, I mean, even just think about Minus One. Yes. I mean, you had the character Koichi Shikishima. Yeah. Yes. The former kamikaze pilot. Right. Struggling with post-World War II Japan. Survival guilt. Exactly. You know, and... and, and, and it, He's trying to make sense. He's trying to make sense of, you know, what's what's happened to him, what's happening around him. The world's changing. And Godzilla's just this, you know, like... Another layer of trauma. Another I mean. layer of trauma, you know, for him to deal with. And that was just such a gripping story. Absolutely. I mean, his story was... As compelling, it really was as any of the monster battles. Absolutely, and and that's what Yamazaki does so well. He weaves together these grand narratives yeah. with very intimate. He does human stories, and it's and it's just, you know, and he makes it look so easy. He does. I mean, it must be so difficult to do that. Oh, absolutely. It's a testament to his skill as a filmmaker. It really is. And, you know, speaking of Yamazaki's approach, yes. I mean, he announced this new film on social media. He did. And uh, Very simple message. Very simple message. I'll be directing the new Godzilla movie. It's Please stay tuned. I mean, I'm already tuned in. The fandom is on fire. The fandom exploded. Yeah, everyone's speculating. Oh, my goodness. It's incredible. And it's so exciting. I mean, and I, I think that's the thing that I, I find most compelling is you know, we, we know a little bit about his style. We do. You know, he, he focuses on these human stories. He focuses on the emotional and societal... The consequences. The consequences of Godzilla's presence. Yeah. I mean, it's like Godzilla becomes... A mirror. A mirror reflecting Japan's mm -hmm. soul. You know, its history, its culture. This complex relationship with destruction, resilience, and rebirth. And that's the thing with Japan. It's constantly having to, you know... Rebuild. Rebuild, reinvent like, itself. Overcome. Right. And Godzilla embodies that in a way. I mean, it's so fascinating how this 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 creature, you know, this monster has become, you know, this cultural icon. Right. A symbol of Japan itself. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And, you know, so given all that, how do you think, you know, this new film will shape up? I mean, what are we looking at here? Well, I think there are some pretty significant clues that we can't ignore, okay. particularly from Godzilla Minus One. Okay. Remember that ending? Oh, yeah. That cliffhanger? Chuck. With a piece of Godzilla regenerating. In the ocean. In the depths of the ocean. And I was blown away by that. Right. It's like a ticking time bomb. It is. And then, of course, there's the question of Noriko Oishi yes. and her mysterious affliction. Oh, we have to talk about that. We do. Because I'm... That was left unresolved. It was just hanging there. Right. And so the question is, could these elements bleed into the new film? I mean, I hope so. I think it's so, very likely. I mean, I was just, I kept thinking about that piece of Godzilla in the ocean, you know? Yeah. Like, it just made me think, what if this new Godzilla is, like, even more powerful than before? Right. What if it comes back bigger, stronger? Smarter. 
more cunning. More cunning. Maybe it's learned from its encounter. Maybe it's evolved. Evolved. Oh, that's scary. That is a chilling thought. It is. And then there's Noriko. Yeah. I mean, what is her affliction? We don't know. We don't know. But it's clearly connected to Godzilla somehow. Right. Right. I mean, could she be the key? Possibly. To understand. Or even defeating. Yeah. This new. More evolved Godzilla. This new more evolved Godzilla. That's a fascinating question. It is. And, and you know, I just, I keep thinking back to Minus One. Yeah. And all the the themes that were in that film about, you know, post apocalyptic survival yeah, rebuilding rebuilding you know, starting but, over and and those themes resonate so much they do in a world that's grappling with things like climate change absolutely political instability very real anxieties very real anxieties and i just wonder if yamazaki's gonna you know take those themes further take them further explore them in more depth i think he will perhaps examine our relationship with nature Oh, that's interesting. The consequences of unchecked ambition. Oh, yeah. Or even just, you know, the enduring human spirit. The resilience of... Of humanity. Yeah. In the face of these overwhelming odds. Absolutely. And that's the thing that I love about Godzilla. It's more than just a monster movie. It is. It's... It's a lens. It's a lens for examining... Ourselves. Our world. The challenges we face. Our relationship with nature. And I think Yamazaki understands that. He does. And, and he... And he you know, he brings that to the forefront. Absolutely. In these films. And that's why I think this new film is going to be... No, I think so, too. ...truly thought-provoking. Oh, yes. Visually stunning. Oh, for sure. A real experience. Oh, I can't wait. For audiences. Oh, it's going to be so good. <laughs> it will be. I just can't wait to see how he, you know... Uses Godzilla. Uses Godzilla. This symbol of destruction and power. Yeah. To comment on the challenges. That we're facing today. He's facing today. Yeah. And I think that's a great place for us to maybe leave our listeners with a thought. Yeah. You know, as we as we eagerly await more news are... about this upcoming film. You know, considering Yamazaki's style, his penchant for weaving these human dramas. Right. With monstrous spectacle. Yes. What kind of message do you think he's going to convey through this new chapter in Godzilla Saga? What do you think? I don't know. I Will mean, it what... be a cautionary tale? <laughs> yeah. A message of hope? Or maybe... Or a bit of both? A bit of both. That's the beauty of it. I think it's going to be a bit of both. We'll have to wait and see. We will. And uh, keep those theories brewing. Let's speculate. <laughs> and let's see what unfolds when Godzilla roars back onto the screen. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't either. <laughs> Thanks for listening, everybody.